the dance expresses itself through the one thing that all of us have, which is the human body, and it has no language other than that. Therefore, it can be uh, understood anywhere in the world. No, actually, actually, my parents were both the dancers all their life, so I grew up with it, but I didn't care for it. I didn't care for it as a performer, but I saw a lot. So when I really decided that I wanted to do it, I had a great knowledge of it. When I left the Joffrey Ballet in 1969, uh, I decided that, it, though I had an opportunity to join major companies, that I would join a smaller group. And with that particular group, we traveled all over the country for three years in a bus with dogs and my newborn baby. Interestingly enough, Sally and I go back a long time. And Michael became my partner in two very great ballets. One is George Balanchine's Scotch Symphony, and the other is uh, Robert Joffrey's beautiful ballet, romantic ballet called Pata Deus, and he was my partner in both those. I was in South America when she decided to retire, so she said, look, I'm leaving my position. Would it be a position that would interest you? I had not thought about it, and I thought, wow, when I look at it, yeah, it's, it would be something that I would really like to do, to follow in her tradition and make something happen. Michael has contributed so much to the arts, not only because of what he's done at uh, the Phoenix Ballet and the Hartford Ballet and at Dan St. Louis, but he's choreographed all around the world. His works are, are just terrific. What he did do was create this um, this thing, Spring to Dance, which we now have at, uh, at Elmsall. It's just been a, a tremendous success. Not only does he do that, but he brings in uh, the Dance Horizon, which he did for the first time this year. This was extraordinary. He picked four professional companies, all of them very different, and he picks four really up-and-coming, emerging choreographers, brings them in, and puts them with one of these four companies, and oh my gosh, it was incredible. I couldn't believe it. It worked. But I love the art form. I, I have no reason not to be involved in it. I, there's young people that I could teach a lot that I learned, you know, what not to do, what to do. Every year I've learned something new, something different, and I've grown, I think, as a dancer and, and as a person and just with my movement. He wants great things from us and like he expects us to work hard and actually really push ourselves to like our fullest potential. What he is doing with Dance St. Louis, I couldn't have been happier and can't be any happier because he has taken it just as I said. I remember when I was retiring, Michael is going to take it to the next level and he has done just that. <laughs>